Dear members, uh, my name is Yasin uh, Field Marshal, the president of uh, Afro Political Consultant and the Communications. Uh, as usual, as you know, that uh, our job is to serve the world, is to change the world, is to make the world a better place. I have an award for that. To make an everyone, the world, to be a better place for everyone. Today, <coughs> we are still on the same purpose, same message. Uh, we are just to come back. <coughs> Hey, I mean, military court. Inside, everything is military. Because I'm a general, I'm a field marshal who needs, who believes in justice, liberty, freedom, human rights in Africa. I don't believe in assassination. I don't believe in killing and exiling my fellow politics, politicians, like as it is the case. In Africa today, that is the situation. I want to send my message today to Rwanda, my fellow Rwandis, in general, Tusi, Hutu, Twa, my my lovely friends, the Twa. I love you so much. I know you are you are there. You are quiet. Uh, thank you for what you are doing. I also want to send the message to Rwanda, Rwandis. Or and then opposition leaders, those people who are there to make sure that Rwanda should be a democratic country. What you see today in Rwanda, there is a development. But the truth is there behind. Hey, what you see in Rwanda today is a development. The country is developing. You can't see the bones. The smelling bad as it usually to be during a genocide. You can't see the, the dead, millions of dead bodies around the streets. You can't see them. Kagame and his government, they have removed them. That's okay. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Uh, there is security. It is okay. But this security is against some people, opposition. The security situation which is in Rwanda today uh, is not professional toward this the success and the development of the country. Democracy should be the sole purpose of the government. But all one then opposition parties they are in exile. F D R and King, F L D D R. These are rebel movements, but they are fighting for freedom. Uh, we have NRA C Rwandan National Congress, headed by Kamba Nyamash. General uh, uh, Col Karegia is dead right now, has been assassinated, you know that. So right now we want a free country. I have a song here today. I have come here to send a dedication message, farewell, to, Kayum, to General Okol Patrick Karegia. This message today, I have come here to mourn and send a song. Everyone who listen to this song, take a few minutes, listen, cry a little bit, and think about what you should do for Kagami Pirato. I, I'm saying, if you listen this song, sit down. Listen the song. After listening the song, cry for all Rwandese in exile. Cry for the general of Patrick Karegia who was killed recently. And think what punishment you should give to Kagame and his government. Listen to the song. I am the one who is commanding you now. I am the commanding officer right now. Field Marshal. Commanding. Listen to the song. Cry for democracy in Rwanda. And see what you should punish for Kagame. Listen to the song. Listen. Let's go. Remember. This song is Karejia sending the message today is going to be buried in South Africa, but is saying to President Museveni, remember me everything I have done for you. A message to President Kagame and your government, Colonel Nziza, remember me, General Gassinzi, remember me everything what I have done for you. Remember. Remember my life already taken. 
The message you go to Apollo, who sacrificed your fellow friend? Remember. Dedication to Patrick Karegia, a former Rwandese spy who was assassinated in South Africa. Listen to the song. This is the power. Comrades, power for Rwandese National Congress. Long life, Kaimba Nyamasha. Long life, uh, General Kaimana. Long life, everyone. dedicated to Karegia, the Rwandese spy who was assassinated with everything. General Karegia, who was assassinated last week, the dedication goes to him, the dedication goes to Madame Le Karegia. The eight the three to go to uh, Kayumba Nyamwasha that he be strong in this struggle comrade. We are still fighting. The message you go to FDL. The message you go to everywhere that we should fight for the cause to liberate Rwanda, democracy, humanity, long life, all the comrades. fellow members of Rwanda and the Rwanda National Congress, the message goes to, from Karegia saying, remember him everything you do and fight for the struggle for his message. General Nyamwasha, do not get overwhelmed. It happens. Rojema died. But what you should remember, fight for the democracy from the general of Africa, Yasin. Let's go. Dedication from Afro political consultant, Afro Afro political consultant and communication is our message is to build you your image, to change the political situation, to speak on behalf of you. We speak, we ask a question, we answer. You disseminate the message. That is our principle. Okay. I sent this message to all Rwandani African tyrants who want to take the lives of others, who believe in slaughter, who believe in killing, who believe in assassination. Africa today we need democracy, like a Canadian democracy, like American democracy. We need democracy like United States, we need democracy like Spain, Switzerland, European democracy, British. We don't need anocracy. Remember me. Nyamwasha, do not forget Karegia has been a right hand man on you. Ruda Singwa, do not forget what Karegia has been doing. Singyumba, Singyumurenye. Yasin, do not forget what your man has been doing. But you should spread the message across the world. Let's go. Uh, this is what Raka Dube is saying that uh, remember remember your friend he has gone but do not forget Karegia is a message goes to Karegia and Karegia's friend listen this one we are saying tribute to Karegia a message to Karegia call Karegia 
Listen, Col Karegi was assassinated recently in South Africa on allegation that Rwandan government, President Kagame sent DMI, Director of Military Intelligence, and with the connection through his friend, best friend, Apollo Gafaranga Isimaili. You betrayed your friend. This is a message, tribute to Karegia. I said, listen the song, cry a little bit, and think what you should do to President Kagame. Pilato, listen. Been missing you, Karajia. Rastafari, Karajia, I'm gonna miss you. You have been a right hand man to the National Congress. The dedication to you, Mr. Karajia. Dedication you rest in DC. Jia, I'll never forget you. But I and I, Mr. Kagame. Dedication to Karajia. I and you, Mr. Kagame, we are going into the same place. I and you, Africans, I and you, Mr. Apollo, who killed, who betrayed Karajia, we are all going into the same heaven. God will decide. You kill, you betray. A friend, listen this song, cry, and see what you should do for Kagame and his government for eliminating Karajia. Listen the song. You are hero. Karajia, you are hero. We will be missing you. You left your country. You fought for Uganda. You fight for Uganda. You decided to liberate the country Rwanda, but you've been betrayed by your friends. Shall be missing you every day, Karajia. dance a little bit because today tomorrow I don't know whether you're Pilato or Mr. Kagami you are following me I know but I'm following you I'll take you the world has lost a genius boy Patrick Karagia a messenger a lost his son Mr. Karajia, you are a hero, we will be missing you. Shall we be missing you forever? Shall we be missing you forever, Karajia? Patrick Karajia, we shall be missing you forever. The government of South Africa has confirmed this. This is the news. The government of South Africa has confirmed, confirmed that Karajia was taken, killed by suspect from Rwanda. And this guy, he went back to Rwanda. The suspect who killed Karajia and his comrades, they came from Rwanda. This is the message. Afro political communications and consultant strategist, we need to reach out to you. We shall inform you when you have caught this fugitive. Listen, I said, when you listen, this message is dedicated, a dedication to the hero, Rwandan hero, Patrick Karajia. Listen it, cry, after crying, think what you should do to hammer the Pirato Kagame. The message got to Museveni of Uganda. Betraying Karajia, you failed, you refused to bury Karajia in your country. He was born in Uganda, raised in Uganda, served the Ugandan government, Obote government, Museveni's government, Kagame's government. Kagame followed him. Listen. Let us go. If you want, don't ask anybody. I'm here, Yasin. Come and kill me. Peace and equality. You fight for justice in Rwanda. Justice for all. Respect for all. But he died for what? Karajia. Today you no longer exist, Daddy. We shall be missing you, Karajia. Patrick Karajia. We shall live to remember you forever. Because of your message. Die forever. Patrick Karajia. You are the hero of Rwanda. You are the 
the hero of Uganda. Yeah. Don't worry about what has happened. All of us will follow in the same thing. Yeah. Peace, love, democracy, justice. Rest in peace. We shall be missing you forever. Karajia. We shall be missing you forever. You've been the hero of Rwanda. The hero of Uganda. We shall be missing you forever. We shall be missing you forever. Colonel Karajia, we miss you. We miss you. We miss you. Ja, we will be with you. But remember, Mr. Karajia, that do not worry what has happened. Rejima left. Sankara left. Sankara Central African. Sankara Burkina Faso left. Galanga. Garanga. Your friend Garanga left. He was assassinated. Do not forget that a lot of uh, African heroes, South African heroes, most of them were eliminated. In Uganda, Kaira, Andrew Kaira was eliminated. Kazini, Major General James Kazini was eliminated, assassinated. In West Africa, many leaders have been eliminated. Do not worry. We came to find the medicine for Africa today. Yasini, Field Marshal, Emperor, African Emperor, Doctor, I'm finding the method, which method should supplant these dictators in Africa. The leaders who believe in assassination, the leaders who are coward leaders, who, be, who fear competition, like a President Paul Kagame, fearing competition, political competition, Leaders who believe in monopoly, only one political party in the government, we shall deal with you, we following you, we shall follow you until death. We need democracy in Africa. We need life like a Canadian life. Look at Canadian people. Look at American, United States. Look at the British people, Scotland. Look at the life of French people. The Greece, small country. Belgium, small country. We need life like Indians. They are not a democracy well, but Indians, okay. We need life like a Brazilian, South America. We don't need life for Cuba. Uh -uh. We don't need life for China in Africa. We need the economy like China, but we don't need politics like a Chinese. We don't need politics like a Russian. We don't believe in dictators. We believe in democracy, liberty, sharing power, understanding one another. We need politicians who say and deliver. We don't need politicians who, who say and execute. Rwanda has been in a problem, turbulent, turbulent, turbulent Rwanda. Remember genocide. Your Excellency President Kagame, sit down in the state house, watch me. Remember what you did in 1994. Remember Rwanda's cause was to bring all Rwandese together, justice together. King of Rwanda should be back home. You do not respect Rwandese. You believe in a development, but this development is personal. It is personal centric. You believe in a misconception of the constitution. You do not need the constitution of the public to be all Rwandese. 
You don't want to hear your fellow men what they say, but you want the fellow men to hear what you say, Your Excellency. President Kagame, I'm talking to you. You call Rwandese stupid? You call Tanzanian crazy? You call Congolese stupid? I also heard you, call, you destroyed the Ugandans. Who are you? President Barack Obama said, cooperation is the key. Democracy is the key. Human rights. I often hear your Excellency President Kagame claiming that democracy is a Western idea. Human rights. These are natural born rights. You cannot alienate it. Even if you take my heart today, you will be blamed by God for taking my right to have this head. I seem to be an idiot. But the most important, do not consider my ideology word nature, but to consider the message, the content I'm delivering to you. We are in exile because of dictators. I swear, we shall hunt them. You will follow, but you shall follow. When these need political parties, Africa, we need political parties to move free. As you can see, the conservatives in Canada, the liberals in Canada, the Green parties in Canada, they are free. They disagree on certain issues, but they come together on the table. What about in America, United States, the Republicans, the Democrats? In France, Nicolas Chacos, the left power, but in Zimbabwe, Mugabe is in power for 40 years. In Uganda, Museveni is in power for 30 years. Kagame, you want to be in power for how many years? Omaru Bongo is in power for 40 years. Bash, uh, uh, Burkina Faso. Huh? Central African Republic. Ah, uh ah. -uh. This is the time to hunt every dictator down and let, let democracy, long life democracy, rise up democracy, down dictatorship and communism. In Africa, we have the system of government, very much communist leaders, Marxist leaders. We shall hunt you down, Marxist. I finish this talk. This is the words that uh, Mr. Karajia, who was assassinated recently, wanted to say, I wish you the best, Your Excellency Paul Kagame, and I want you to sit down and you listen to my message. I'm not a criminal for your government. I'm not an enemy towards your government. But we need peace and prosperity in Rwanda based on true democracy for all. Bye-bye and God bless you.